Hi, it's Chris, and welcome back to the sea. I'm wearing my Pi Amiga jumper because I spilled chicken sauce from wings all over my shirt. Today, we have a very special mail call review, quick overview video. As you know, I repair your Amigas for free, on my dime, with the help of a lot of patrons, which I cannot express my sincere gratitude enough. So far, we've repaired 287, I believe the grand total currently is. I had a piece of paper that I shared with two people over on the other table that I have not brought back over. 287 is what we're at. When I got a package from Mr. Cavanaugh's and Mr. Jonathan, they kind of go together. Dear Chris, I hope your Amigas are treating you well. As you know, I usually use black PCBs. Recently, I received a request to build a purple 4000D motherboard. So I did a small run of them. Now they're all said for. I was suggested to sell one of these to you as your love for the purple is very well known. You've done so much for the Amiga community and me with all the repairs, videos, excellent work on Pimiga. I think you deserve to own one of these boards. It comes to, it comes with a matching CPLD IC integrated bus board which was designed by Mr. Torsten, Torsty76 Kerbad, please accept these as my gifts to you. The Amiga community appreciates your hard work and we're grateful for your contributions. Best wishes, Kavanaugh's. God, it tears me up. Don't be thrown off by my tiny hammer. He also sent me two SIM sockets that are for this in here, which I'll just put to the side. Sorry about the microphone, I got the Rode mic on the old belly. I've already opened this, it was packaged extremely well with foam and anti-static bubble wrap and boxes and sub boxes. This is a Amiga 4000 riser in purple with a full ATX power supply integration on the riser card. ATX, just plug her in and rip. No fussing with signals and magic and science. It's all done on these little chips on the back. And it handles all the math and science that make things work. Now, eventually I think these are gonna become available in PCI. It's labeled as an Amiga 4000 Daughter Board Replacement. Original design by Commodore Electronics Limited. Rework by Matsy. Uh, Heinrich and Matthias. Fish Nines Berlin. It has the I2C header here, two fan, 12 volts, power management mode, four pinners too. Dynamic fans. It has a bunch of power select from push button to switch to disable ICY. JTAG header for future programming. A 12 volt, five volt header. There's this little dude right here. It's kind of a blank plug plugs into the 4000D's motherboard and on the back here there's a fail button that the uh, 5 volt fail on the board that you press to it doesn't have a fail on the it's a it, you plug it into here pucker your butthole on this one now I have to transplant my customs and all this stuff but look at this beauty 4000D now I did just buy motherboards I greatly appreciate this more than you can imagine Purple's my favorite color, as you all know, and I, everybody I buy stuff from, I always ask you, hey, can I get it in purple? So, the little power plug will plug into here. She's uh, built this way. The 8 meg slot 1 and slot 3 mod for the 16 instead of 4 4s, and an 8 meg double-sided for the chip mem 2. Everything else, the gals, I have to populate, of course, my own chips, and that's totally understandable. But it's incredible. New Kel connector, riser slots, even brand new ports. I mean, brand new ports. Apparently these are still available on the old, uh, yep, Mauser. Even this one that I just did some VR work for a while back to get one. DB23s are getting hard to come by. There was a limited rerun of those. I think that market's drying up. We need another run. Of course, the DB9 for the mouse and joy pads. Boing Ball logo. This is the 1.0, same as the black one that I just previously rebuilt. 
in video land. I don't know when this is coming out, but you know, I I do do videos all the time. Move this box. And now we have a purple riser and a purple motherboard. But you know, like Steve Jobs used to say, wait, there's one more thing. Mr. True sent me this. Inside is a note. Dear Chris, please accept this token of appreciation for all that you've done for me and the wider Amiga community. Happy tinkering, your friend, True. I've already opened this. We had a private Discord discussion. This is a, 30, a Z3660. You've seen these before on probably other Amiga YouTube channels. What the heck is this? This is a special Z-Turn. Z-Turn this thing. Z-Turn FPGA system board standalone computer. Made by MYIR. And it has micro SD and USB and Ethernet, HDMI and a power dude. But it also has that CM4 kind of Pi style connector on this card. These two lines right here. 60 to 60 slot, just like a 3660 would on the Repop. This is from S H A N S H E, Shanshi. Cavanaugh's built this. Voltage regulator for 3.3, uh, 60 to 60. Now here's the wild thing. There are jumpers on here and a configuration on this micro SD card that we're going to get into later. It's just a quick thank you and a appreciation video. You can just plug this in and fire it up. Boop. Chris, there's no CPU on here. It's in here. Now you can FPGA a 60 to 40 at up to 100 and something megahertz. Or you can have a Rev6 68060 at up to 100 megahertz. I think this goes faster than 100. You get 128 megs of CPU RAM and 256 megs of Zorro 3 fast RAM. For a grand total of 384, according to the configuration file that I rooted through on this card, megs of RAM, along with my 16 megs of fast, 2 mega chip, that's a lot of RAM. This will sit in here like so. This RTG and Ethernet is exactly that. The HDMI, I think, is a single source video, meaning all the video, Amiga or not, goes out this bad boy. Has a fan header, fan header on, fan header on five, and a fan header on five. So, two headers, jumpers, magic, science, and we're going to get into this even more. So, the Z3660. How's that metric, guys? We can run around both flavors. I got an 060 sitting in the uh, BFG. These are incredible. There's so many new things for the Amiga coming out. So many new things. Now, the idea with this board, and the story that why I kind of needed one, is... Sad but true. What an amazing piece of kit. So that is a quick review, or a quick unboxing, and a thank you to Mr. Cavanaugh and Mr. True for your unwavering support, and many others, and everyone else who has ever contributed a single thing to me. I cannot express my gratitude. Where are you going, Dory? You were just talking about something, and you just switched lanes. Usually you correct this in editing so people don't realize how stupid you are in real life. I suffer from short-term memory loss. Um, the reason I needed this board was there was an accident at my house. I was upstairs playing with my dog on a Tuesday or Wednesday afternoon. My wife was out with my daughter shopping when I heard a terrible auto accident. The sound of crunching metal. You know the sound of an auto accident. My dog even was like, holy crap, what was that? I looked out the front window, saw nothing. I live in a very rural area. Looked out the side window. Nothing. That's odd. I walked downstairs to the studio where we're at. Everything's cool. Checked over on the Indiana Jones archives. Bad things happened. Emotional, damn it! I have a shelf, five tier, five shelf high. 
It's been there for 15 years. Never had a problem. Been full of Amigas its whole life. Well, I don't know if it's humidity, your mom, somebody. One straw too many. A leg broke on the bottom, which caused shelf one to collapse on the floor, bringing two, three, four, and five along with it. The majority of my Amiga fleet was on and across from that shelf. My IMAX on the bottom fell over the blue and red to which four Amiga 2000s fell on top of it, breaking most of their face plates off, bending them to stuff, all metals all bent. The Amiga 3000s and 4000s fell and to just make that cake even better, the Amithalon heavy guys big orange turd and the, my black X branded Commodore a Mithalon machine fell on top of everything shattering the 4000 a 500 shattered into pieces the Ziff 500 that I finally got in the case with the keyboard shattered into a million pieces I haven't been able to get that board working I spent the rest of the week attempting to get the remaining boards functional again which I did minus a couple a 4000 and another 2000 I believe. I was able to 3D print and make some new pegs and glue and get them kind of sorted for the 2000s and the 3000s okay. One of the 4000s took the brunt of the impact from the heavy machines above and formed a wave in the metal, basically crushing the case like that. I hammered it out with a rubber mallet as best I could. Here's some photos of the semi-fixed machines after I banged the metal straight. Hence, why well, I got a tiny hammer. Ah, oh, thank you. Just to kind of lightly shawl shank that stuff back into some kind of level. And uh, I did get most of them put back together and they seem to be okay. In the meantime, I bought a 5,000 pound, that's US, I don't know what that is in metric land, but a lot. Uh, 1,000 pounds per shelf, industrial, long metal encased webbing steel hammer painted super shelf. All of my keyboards, luckily, were not on that shelf. A few of the items across from the shelf were damaged. Uh, some cards, some Zorro 3 things, uh, a couple accelerators, and some random bits of spare parts that I had over there for repairs. No customer machines were hurt in this endeavor as I keep them all in plastic or rubber made, the brand rubber made totes is what we call them, big flat plastic lidded containers where I store all the customers devices in as I cycle through repairs. They're always on the studio side, they're good. So that's kind of how I think things work. Maybe it's karma, maybe it's just a blessing from above. Maybe it's just good luck for once in my life. And Mr. Cavanaugh's, Mr. True, I thank you guys so much for helping me out with this because this is really gonna get me back in the fold. I have my machines I use in the studio, yes. I have a lot of great things that I've been gifted and able to purchase or help out, restore, and work a deal or whatever. And I greatly appreciate that. I'm very humble person as far as I like helping I don't feel like I ever deserve anything and even though I fix all these Amigas for you guys on my dime and I lose tens of thousands of dollars per year because I'm some kind of idiot it's just a hobby and I really love it and if you do something you love uh, what's the motto I don't, know, I don't mean to have a Biden brain but or something like that if you if you love what you do you never work a hard day in your life I work a lot of hard days and a lot of hard hours, but there's a certain joy of bringing back the dead, uh, especially in the machines that I love so much for some reason, as it was a part of my youth, and I don't know. I've always said i got to do a deep dive because I believe in the Amiga, Mr. Vern and I were talking about it. But this is something else. I really want to get into this and check out both sides of this Z3660, Z3660, see what she has to offer, 
Stability wise with this new entirely brand new 100% new Amiga 4000. Incredible. This is the same board funded by ASIL, Mr. Paul, built by Kavanaugh's, printed by, I don't know who does this, it's not PCB way, it's JL, I believe. I wish they had a shared project section. Well, I wish there was a clear Amiga 4000 gaze. I don't know, I just want to show this purple off. Kind of like my Mini Mig 181, I just love that acrylic, I love that board so much. So that's a quick update for Amiga Land and what's, what happened and this true blessing. And I can't thank you guys enough for just even watching this channel, hanging out with that old fat guy for a while as I try to entertain you and educate you in the restoration of a vintage computer that not that many people give a hoot about. But I do, and I hope you do too. So stick around for future videos on Amiga repairs and new things, new things to come. That's all I got for now. So as always, thanks for watching and I hope you learned something. Funny, you bastard.